Hey friends, welcome to another vlog. I'm here in St. Louis. Well, by the time you're watching this video, I'm actually going to be back home in California. But if you haven't been following me, I'm in St. Louis and I decided to go ahead and record a vlog because I'm doing a bunch of work here at the uh, house that I'm staying in. Actually, this is one of the jobs that I just uh, finished up. Uh, let me go and show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm down here in the basement of this house. I'm going to show you all what I did here. Now, I added a water line here to the fridge right above where I was just standing. This is going to the fridge uh, there in the kitchen. So basically what I did, it has three quarter pecs uh, running through the house. And I went ahead and did a shark bite fitting um, going from the three quarter inch water line. Uh, just connecting the three quarter inch water line, went down to half inch and then went ahead and hooked up my uh, water angle stop valve. Well, I guess it's not an angle stop valve because it's straight through, but anyways, we've got our water line here. So uh, some of y'all might have an issue with the uh, um, with the shark bite, but you know, this is not in an enclosed area that's definitely easy to see if it is leaking. But so that was the first job I did. Uh, got quite a bit of other work to do here at this house. I'm gonna take y'all and show you guys exactly what I'm doing. And we're gonna go along, take you guys with me as I do the work. All right, we're gonna put this mailbox right here to cover up this hole. Okay, we got ourselves a mailbox. Covered up that nasty hole. Okay, this is gonna be a project here. We might need to wait on that because it, the gutter downspout fell off right there. So I don't know if I have a ladder that reaches that high. We're gonna have to see, but that downspout goes right up there. <laughs> but in the meantime, we got a few other things inside to do, so let's get to it. Okay, my next thing we're gonna see if this works. I actually found this in the basement, some plastic wood. So I ended up not getting any because uh, there, there it had some, oh, I did these. These are like the first things I did when we got here. Installed these electronic deadbolts. You see there's a little bit of painting that needs to be matched up right there, but installed some electric deadbolts here and on the back door. Just way better for a uh, Airbnb. But as you can see here, all the baseboards all around the house, uh, th this one actually looks pretty good, but there's uh, some over there. This was a, a flip house, so they made things look pretty good, but at the end of the day, they didn't uh, kind of finish up a lot of the work that they should have. So this plastic wood is actually pretty cool. Uh, basically, it's just wood, but it's plastic. <laughs> so you just take it and kind of put it in your nail holes. And then when it dries, it dries just like wood. You can sand it, you could paint it, you could do whatever you want with it. This one here, we're obviously not gonna do a whole lot to it um, other than this, because that's kind of what the homeowner wants, but this is gonna be a great patch, make it look a whole lot better than it did. It'll actually look smooth compared to what it did before where it just had a whole bunch of holes in it. So um, once that dries, that'll dry white and it'll look a whole lot better. And then if you wanted to come back with some paint, you could easily paint it. Uh, but basically we're just gonna go around all of the baseboards, all of the trim and fill everything in. So the person who flipped this just uh, I think he owned it for a few months and then he sold it to, you know, the people that we know and that's how they acquired it. So no one they know did any of this work. So this guy, he did great work. I mean, you know, it's, he did a really nice uh, master bath and really nice, you know, stuff here and there, but just like a common flip, you know, it's like they make things, you know, they put nice products in it, but they don't really do uh, good finish work. So. See like this here, this joint here just looks horrible, but uh, we're gonna see kind of what we can do to that, but we're not gonna get too serious. That's just the nature of this, uh, nature of this gig here. Hey. 
So this wood, wood filler, actually this plastic wood that I found in the basement, uh, I'm a little wrong. I thought this one dried white, but there's uh, actual other ones that you can get that do dry white, but this one dries to the natural color of the wood. So this one will need to be touched up with some sort of, uh, some sort of touch paint after this is done. But basically the whole thought of it is just to get it smooth rather than having a whole bunch of horrible nail holes. And I found some white paint in the basement, so I'm just going to touch this up here. And as you can see, that looks a whole heck of a lot better. Not perfect, but it looks a whole heck of a lot better than it did with the nail holes. If you guys can uh, remember what that looked like. But I think the proper way to do this would be to fill those nail holes so they're a little bit proud, and then go ahead and sand it. But this is going to do just fine for this, and then we're going to go ahead and get some other wood filler that dries white and do the rest of the baseboards with that, but this will do for this here. That looks a whole heck of a lot better. Okay, this one's a simple one. They just want the, uh, this door lock switched out from the basement with a locked, uh, locked door lock. So we're putting a locked one here, and we're also going to be putting a locked one uh, upstairs in the closet up there. Because the store in this house is actually going to be an Airbnb, so they want to uh, basically lock the Airbnb. They want to lock the Airbnb guests out of places where they're going to be storing stuff. Obviously, you don't want anyone in the basement, probably for uh, you know, I don't know, security reasons. I don't know. Maybe you don't want. I just imagine you don't want any loonies in the basement. The whole thought of a basement is kind of interesting to me because. Uh, being from California, I had never seen a basement before I came here to St. Louis, so kind of interesting because there, believe it or not, but there ain't no uh, basements in California, at least uh, at least around me. Some of y'all may have some, I don't know. Okay, we got that lock all installed, so no one will be getting into the basement anymore, or unless they're supposed to. So let's go do the other lock, and we got a few other things to do here, so let's get to it. Another issue going on all around the house is just lack of caulking around the trim. So I just got to go through and caulk all this. And actually, this trim looks horrible. They used uh, some sort of staples. And it's kind of like they lost air pressure on their staples and they didn't get fully in. So I'm going to try and countersink those in a bit and then just caulk everything. Another thing that I thought I should mention is the hole on the edge of this caulking tube. You can see that's cut very small. And from what I read is that you're not even supposed to cut that hole so that so that poker there on the edge of a caulking tube fits in there. So it's actually supposed to be smaller than the diameter of that poker. I learned that and that's something that uh, I have been doing wrong almost my whole life. <laughs> but when you do it right, you actually get a nice bead uh, and not, not much excess, which is pretty nice. Wow, check this out down here, all these nail holes that they just did not fill in. Okay, that still doesn't look super amazing. I think all in all it needs some sanding and some painting. Alright, my last outdoor project of the day is uh, to mow the lawns here. I just finished mowing the back lawns. I want to show you the lawnmower. Actually, our friends that we're using, it's a uh, 40 volt Ryobi. Just takes one of these and then this one's just kind of hanging in there. It's just a dummy slot to hold that. And then we also got a weed eater of that. I wanted to kind of show you guys what this was. It's kind of cool. Let's see if I can start it with one hand here so you guys can hear it. There you go. It's on. So. Even has these fancy headlights. 
in case you want to uh, mow in the dark. <laughs> okay, the next one is on top of this stair here. There's just that trim piece there that's not cocked at all, so there's that horrible gap. So we're just gonna try and fill that with some caulking, make it look a little bit better. Okay, so this is where I think they did a pretty nice job on this uh, on this flip. This is the master bathroom. Check this place out. This nice tub here, and then this uh, the shower is pretty sweet. But it's kind of funny here because on this sink here, they actually mixed up the hot and the cold. So uh, this one obviously is supposed to be the cold, says cold. But you turn that on, you get hot water. This one, get cold water. This one's hooked up correctly. This one, hot water's over here and cold water's over here. So basically with this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap the lines on that. So, uh, got down here. Another interesting thing I found is this was a, uh, a flip, but so all this was new construction, but they still use shark bite angle stops, which I think is kind of interesting. Like, these are considerably more expensive shark bite angle stops than regular uh, compression style angle stops. So I don't know why they didn't go with the uh, you know, compression style angle stops, you know, just for sheer cost of things, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so basically going to switch those lines, switch the hot, the cold, and we'll be good to go. All right, this is one common thing I see. Uh, people put Teflon tape on these threads. They, they do not need Teflon tape because there's actually a rubber washer inside of these lines. So um, kind of shows me another sign that maybe the person who did this flip was kind of a uh, kind of a noob on certain things. But, you know, who isn't a noob on certain things? Because some, you know, some things you know, some things you don't. So obviously this guy just wasn't aware. But if you are putting in these kind of hoses, they have rubber uh, O-rings on them, so you do not need Teflon tape on those angle stops. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just swap those. I decided to do it at the angle stops rather than up at the faucet, uh, just because I don't have to get on my back, and it's a little bit easier. So we're going to go with that. Okay, got my lines swapped. So in this, it's not so much that they just hooked up the wrong lines, because technically, if someone came in here and was just to hook up the sink or the faucet, they would hook it up correctly because the hot water angle stops supposed to be, or the cold water is supposed to be on this side, hot water is supposed to be on that side. So technically, you're supposed to go straight up with the lines going to the faucets. Obviously, these are incorrect, so they put the hot angle stop on this side, the cold on this side. So, anyways, got them all plumbed in. Gonna turn them on, uh, make sure there's no leaks coming from right here, and then let's turn on our water and see what we got. Let the air out. So now we should get hot water coming from that hot water side. And now we do. That is scorching hot water. So then we should have cold water on this side. That we do. We are good. Job well done. All right, we got that job done. On to the next. Okay, time for the next job and it is out this window. All right. So we're on the roof of the kitchen right now, and you can see that this gutter is just super full. Let's see if we get a good shot of that. Yeah, there's just nice trees growing in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get that gutter all cleaned out, make it look all sniffy.
All right, now all we're left with is that fun job. Let's see if our ladder's tall enough. Who knows? All right, we're not even close with the ladder. <laughs> yeah, it barely gets to the top of the first story, so. Uh, might have another idea though, we'll see. All right, here's my next idea for this gutter. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work, but we're gonna see here. Okay, we're up here on the, on the roof to check out this gutter here. So this is that's where our gutter is. <laughs> I really don't think it's going to work with this little, uh, this little ledge here. And I still can't reach it. Still up a little bit too high for me. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to uh, just forego this, uh, forego this uh, gutter here. And uh, we're going to call my buddy over and uh, he's going to bring over his big ladder. Alright, since we can't do that, uh, that outside gutter right now, I'm going to call my friend. And we're going to wait to do that. I don't want to risk my life today for that. I'm going to wait to get a taller ladder and do it right. But uh, anyways, this job, I did not charge anything for labor. Um, the people are super gracious to us, so we are you know, offering that to them as well. But the Wologs are back, guys. So I'm going to be making the Wologs on a more regular basis. So I'm super excited about that. Super excited to take you guys along with me on my day-to-day -day work in California as I operate my handyman business. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what's up. Let me know if you're excited about the vlogs coming back, but I will see you guys all on the next video. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and have a fantastic day.